what's this we got here? Message board. This board has several papers and scraps of paper pinned to it. No one is to approach the dragon again. Another fucking dragon, huh? Well, I mean, if we can't beat the one in the hinterlands, we can definitely not beat this one. I have sent messages to the capital. We must wait for them to arrive. Meanwhile, we will dredge the lake for any sign of Henry at first light. Mayor Dedrick. One of my lambs went missing. Stripe on the front right hoof. Disappeared, yes. Evening in Upper Meadow. Irvine. If anyone spots Eddie, send for me. Don't let her sweet talk you into anything else. She knows what she did. Penelope. Need rake? I will lend you for lend you one for five coppers. Copers. Whatever. I nearly thought that said corpses at first. Come and see me. I also have wagin. It's very good. Bite needs rep. Whatever the hell. It's clearly not the voice I should have started with. You can have it if it just... You can have it. Just come take it away from my home. Bring wheels. Why? Someone has also carved Milton and Lonnie into the backboard. Have they? Have they really? The backboard as in the back of the board or like behind? I, I don't know what any of this means. Oh, dude, look at all that. I love seeing the Dragon Age written language. Or at least one of the languages. I imagine each region actually has a different language, thinking about it. Hmm. All right, let's talk to you again, but this time not leave halfway through. The Inquisitor. Mayor Dedrick of Crestwood Village, at your service, despite everything. Are you here to stop the undead? We should. We could. Everyone here is so scared. Oh, thank you, Cole. You're so cute. Can I get to that Fade Rift? And also terrifying. You're mostly because of a rift in the Fade. Mostly terrifying. How can I get to it? The light in the lake. It's coming from the caves below Old Crestwood. Darkspawn flooded it ten years ago during the blight. Wiped out the village, killing the refugees we took in. What about draining the lake? I saw a dam. If we use it to drain the lake, I can get to that Fade Rift. Drain the... There must be some other way. Your people are frightened, and they're tired. Let us help. Is that the you only way? I said it was the caverns under the Old Crestwood. Can't we dam. just go there? I can't ask you to risk your life. Please, let me help. Crestwood can't last much longer. I don't want to leave without doing what I can. I... Uh, I suppose it must come to this. This key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The rift must be in the caves under old Crestwood. But, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. Oh, we even got to investigate. Okay. Yeah, teach me about Crestwood. Why not? Tell me about your village. It's seen happier days. Really? <laughs> we can trade with the merchants who travel the King's Road. We could you also count on one hand the number of merchants way. you've seen since then? It's all we've ever Bet wanted. you could. Okay, uh, who are these bandits? What can you tell me about the bandits camped in the fort? The highwaymen. Thugs and thieves. They make a living raiding caravans on the King's Road. When the dead rose from the lake, the bandits killed the old gamekeeper of the fort and took it for themselves. We could have saved people if we'd been able to hide there instead of in our homes. This place survived a blight then? I'm surprised. With no walls or anything. Crestwood outlasted the blight. I guess the Darkspawn didn't thing, care? The Darkspawn followed a band of refugees running from the blight. Some of the refugees were they were very ill. But we took them in. They Aww. perished when the Darkspawn flooded old Crestwood. Oh, well, that's less nice. How did that happen? How did Darkspawn manage that? They found the dam's controls. Break them. All I remember is the refugees and villagers screaming. It seems way, 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 way too now, smart for Darkspawn. They returned to us. I should go. Until later. Of course. I do wonder where the shrieks went. I guess they were just not as common. As the Genlocks and the Ogres and everything else. I do wonder what makes an Ogre. Because we know that Elves make Shrieks. We know that... I think Genlocks come from Dwarves. Herlocks are obviously humans. Um... Oh God, I'm trying to think about other types of Darkspawn now. That, that's it, isn't it? Really? I guess you could say the Ogres are Kunari, but probably not, right? Even Kunari are not of that fucking size and absu absolute ferality. Um... Is that a word? I hope that's a word, because it sounded really smart. Okay, let's go up here. We got something going on up there. 
I don't know how we nearly triggered that though, because well, we're nowhere near that. Jana, you came this way. May could be with you, Inquisitor. Thank you for all your help. You look a lot less like a doll in this light, but still. Claim the keep to reach the dam. That's the plan. I just wish I knew how to get up there as well. Huh. I get the feeling we're not going to be spending a whole lot of time in, um, Crestwood. It doesn't seem to be the biggest of places, but then again, I mean... Oh, there's landmarks and everything? Cool. And what's this in here? Let me guess. A letter that's going to give us a quest? Oh, no, an actual person. Fuck yeah. Less fuck yeah. This is a fucking funeral. You sound vaguely insane. What the hell's going on? Is this a funeral? Have I interrupted a funeral service? We lost many friends in the first attack. But there will be endless time to mourn. The fear is how many more will be added to the pyre. Well, you want the bodies from the lake then? You want to exhume the corpses at the bottom of the lake? They're gonna be very damp and bloated and rotten and gross. Funeral service will help put living minds at ease. Why drain the lake? What did you mean by finally drain the lake? The undead return only after the light in the lake appeared. Well, yeah, it is kind of obvious. We must investigate, but the mayor sent no one at all. I didn't know rifts could open in places like that. Wonder what causes it. Monsters on us. Weaknesses in the fade, right? But then again, there can be so much in the deep roads and stuff like that. Until later. Christ. Drain the lake to reach the bodies. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. Uh, so where is this fortress we need to go ahead and invade? All the way down there. I'm going very much in the wrong direction. Should also go find Judith. I got the feeling that there aren't even going to be too many quests here either. But oh well. I'm excited to see what we can do. Now, there are ten landmarks. This place must be bigger than I expect it to be. Memory of the Drowned. On the eighth day of Blooming Tide, 930 Dragon. We fought the fifth blight. We remember the night the dam broke open, drowning the darkspawn in floodwater. We remember the cries of those swept away, our families and good neighbors. We remember refugees who took shelter with us, also lost in the dark. We give their souls to the Maker. Beloved Andraste, guide them to his side. Carved into the base of a memorial in Crestwood, above a list of names. So this is a genuinely Quite an, well, I mean, it doesn't look great, does it? But it's a decent carving for such a tiny village. Ah, in fact, there's a lot of interesting shit around here, considering it is just... Oh, claim logging stat! Yes, yes, yes. Now is a good time to steal from these absolutely destroyed peasants. There we go. Thank you. One out of three. So what, you mean we lost all the ones from pre-Haven? Or do we use them up? Like, is that how it works? Like, we, we use one and then we have to... I guess they're a finite resource? Or a consumable resource as opposed to just a constant? That's surprising, but I guess sort of makes sense. Can't steal all the trees from one area, right? I don't know. Either that or did we, or we did just lose them uh, post-haven. But that doesn't make any sense, because we had some in, like, uh... The fuck was that? We had some in, like, um, Hinterlands, and I believe even on the Storm Coast. I know it was one of the wet, terrifying... What is killing you? It just said low health. I, I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm just very, very confused. There's a lot of screeching going on, and we need to get the hell out of here. Uh, I might teleport to Crestwood just to get my health back and a few more potions. I have to say, though... I have absolutely no fucking I Oh god, you're gonna talk to me again? Yes, I know, you say that every time I pass. But I have apt- <laughs> Oh god, you're a nightmare. I have absolutely no idea how the hell. I'm gonna make it round to either that fortress, or d across the dam, or whatever the hell. It just seems like it's going in the completely wrong direction. But all we can really do right now is climb up this endless hill. To get to the top of the mountain, sort of look down, see if I can see anything different. No, I'm just back where we were. This cannot be right. There is no way. But somehow you get a really strangely beautiful view of all the destruction up here. Impressive. Genuinely impressive. Wow, dude. How could so much destruction look so damn good? 
Let's make more! I mean, fix it all. One of the two, anyway. There we go. Uh, just tons of embryo. I mean, I don't think we need to worry about picking up... Um, shut up, water bottle. I don't think we need to worry about picking up uh, much more herbs if we already have the seeds for them. Because I imagine it will just sort of automatically be added to my inventory once I've planted them. I don't know if that's the case. Maybe we need seed after seed after seed and we have to recollect them and everything. But that seems like way too much fucking effort to have to go back to your little seedery, or whatever the hell the correct word for that is, and uh, redo it every time, right? You'd think that it'd probably just naturally add to your inventory. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Obviously right now we don't have anything planted, so we can't quite tell, but that's what I'm very much hoping. Hello, endless elf fruit. No, I'm gonna ignore you for once because that takes so much fucking time. You do keep tempting me. Why is there so much of you? Go away! This is an old market road. You're gonna have like endless hidden treasures, aren't you? No? Just tons of elf fruit? I mean, I guess it would have already been stripped, but come on! Give me something to work with. Yet another. Oh shit, I missed a cave, didn't I? Is there any reason I didn't go in that cave? Did I go in that cave? I think I forgot to go in that fucking cave. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, well, we'll be back there uh, soon enough anyway. What am I claiming? What is this? Oh, it's- this is the fucking landmark? Okay. A wooden facade has been erected at the mouth of this cave. <laughs> Presumably to shield any occupants from the weather. And how is it a facade if all it is is to shield people? I don't know. Tattered journal. The bandits are just across the way, so I can keep an eye on those bastards. I managed to take back some, some of the supplies they stole from that traveling merchant. I didn't even see it coming, but I'm not afraid. If they want to fight, they can come and get me! Holy shit, this place is way bigger than I expected. I will continue to pick up deep mushrooms, though. Purely because I don't think we have as much as we do of elf fruit and embryum and stuff like that. Even though it's probably completely wrong. I do remember binging on this shit as much as I possibly could. Like a goddamn addict. Is this... Oh. This leads to the warden, doesn't it? Or not, it just leads to this guy? It just leads to this guy, fair enough. This guy that I can't talk to. Despite the fact he's clearly having endless problems with bandits. Oh, there's more than one. Unnatural things what the fuck? The night. It's the maker punishing a sinful world. That's what I say. Okay. Who are you? Why do you live in here when there is- Gurgut. When there is a perfectly good, um... Well, I say perfectly good, it's destroyed, packed, and very, very damp. Uh, but I mean, at least it's a village, relatively close by, but no, you're just down here with the nugs. Sure. Okay. Strange. Why does this place even exist? Please stop targeting the nug. Why does the nug even even need an impressive fucking health bar? I feel bad. Can we not just take one back to Leliana? Fine, fine. I guess you'll become important later. Oh, by the way, I claim this landmark as my own, so you can fuck off when you feel like it, but uh, eventually I'll send an army. Trust me. So, this leads somewhat down here. I imagine we probably need to close the rift before we can even get to the warden. I don't know if that actually is the case, but it feels like it, since I don't know how the hell I can even turn down in that general direction. Oh god, I could have gone a completely different way? I don't know where I am! Or maybe we have to now go this way. Although it also looks like I could probably go over here? So many different directions, because this place is so just dominated and broken. I can't tell what the hell I'm doing. Is that red lyrium? Because that looks to me like red lyrium. And it also leads to the warden, so let's not do that yet, I guess. Let's see if we can fix this place up first. We'll save the villagers, because they are... Uh, Probably in more of a dire situation than Stroud is. But I am very interested. No, because Stroud is being hunted by actual wardens. That also can't be particularly good for his health. But I don't know. What's better? Actually getting closer to saving the world? Or vaguely doing our duty to these random peasants who will probably end up contributing very little? Oh, why do I have to be such a good person? Whoa! Whoa! Just random wandering demons? We're seeing an awful lot of that, aren't we? It's weird. It's rare to just see demons hanging out like this. One thing but I feel like we should probably take care of it. There 
resilient. You'd almost have to be living here. Oh, you know it, buddy. Oh, I thought you were going to carry on. Thought you were going to talk to... I was about to say a fellow Ferelden, but I don't think we have any. Except maybe me? I can't really tell. It, it was never really specified. No, no, no. We're definitely Ferelden because our clan is the Lavalan, Lavalan clan, right? And that was in the top right of Ferelden? Or maybe that's just the Free Marchers. Yeah, I think we might be a Free March elf. Battered journal. Page from a Circle Mage's journal. I could travel around Crestwood. One person might sneak past the roaming dead with the aid of a little magic. I hear Redcliffe is taking in mages. If I get there, I'll be safe. I can't do it. These people have no one to help them. Probably never seen undead before. Maybe they won't trust a mage, but what use was I penned in the circle? Maybe here I can do some good. I'll introduce myself to the villagers tomorrow. I hope they don't turn me away. Is that meant to look like it was driven through your arm? Because to me, that looks like a stave. That looks like your fucking weapon, right? And it's not like they could just pierce a mage with their own damn weapon. That's not how staffs work. So you were killed by demons before you got the chance? Or are these Crestwood dudes way more fucked up than they seem? No one mentioned you, and it seemed like they were mentioning practically everything, so I'm gonna assume it wasn't them who did this. I hope it wasn't them, because then I'll probably feel a little worse about actually saving these arseholes. Whatever, there's so many ways I can go. I'm endlessly explorative, isn't it? I just... I, ah, <laughs> there's so many different directions, I can't fucking decide. Oh well. Let's check out this boat. Because, um, at the moment, I'm just trying to pick up as many side quests as I possibly can. So if I go in a certain direction, I won't then need to go in that exact same fucking direction 20 minutes down the line when I find a side quest. No, just fucking spindleweed. How very, very exotic. It seems to me, like this way, further out into the water, is probably where the fortress is gonna stand, and everything else basically ends up leading to the warden? I could be very wrong, because it- Oh, Christ! Can I actually get struck by lightning here? Because we came very, 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 very close there. Oh, I was about to say maybe I should start sending back, but... No, this does seem to be it. Care Bronach. Man, we're actually going to be taking a castle here. And it will actually either be occupied by Inquisition or at least the villagers again. This is pretty damn badass. And they didn't even... Oh, keep must be claimed. Fuck you. What is this then? It's going to be where the Inquisition hang out for the time? Because... I don't know. Why would I want to go in down below? And how the hell do I even get above? I just gotta climb this rock face? Oh boy, there's one thing I love about this game. It's having a tantrum until I get to climb a fucking rock face. Come on, come on, stop doing the little toddler jump. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah, there's no way around this, is there? I guess we just gotta take the path then. Do things the easy way. And I hate the easy way. Why can't I make life hell for myself? God damn it, game. Oh. Talked about. It was right here. Never mind. They're frightened inside. Trapped by the walls that protect them. Should I be bringing anyone specifically to this? I doubt it. It's just none of these guys seem to talk to each other. And it's kind of upsetting. Yes, they fucking are, you assholes! Jesus! I- Oh, we have to break the gate down? Are you kidding? Seriously? If anything, we just made it easier for the undead down the line! Armored Mabari! Oh, dear fucking Christ! Yeah, we don't want to be dealing with those! I'm gonna see if I can climb up and deal with the archers, because they- They gonna be giving us problems. Also, how did that get rid- Jumping gets rid of my fucking stealth? I didn't see that before! Oh. That was straight up a ladder, but I had to do things the badass way because on account of the fact that I am the biggest badass in the world. Um, can I actually do my job? What the fuck was that? God, this game is stupid sometimes. And oh, man, that whirlwind attack is really fucking nice when it works. And we'll break that ice. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Oh, am I, can I not do anything? No, because Cole is a way better rogue than me now. The hell happened? I bet, oh no. I feel like so much less of a man. The tiny little baby spirit boy does everything better than I do. 
Come on, come on, hit that whirlwind. Ah, oh, you bastard. You got away just in time. I think I also woke up this Mavari. Seemed like he just wasn't even trying anything for a while. Damn, these guys are good. I think, um... Cole also practically ignores armor, doesn't he? Which very much does not help my case. I'm going a worse rogue by the day. And, um... AI Dorian cannot play Dorian whatsoever. I will now designate myself as resident Dorian of the Inquisition. Who the hell gives a fuck about Darwin anymore? The despondent remains of a once proud keep door. Why do we want that in any kind of way? I don't know, but we absolutely do apparently. Oh wow, I can one shot literally everyone. Why doesn't, why can't I make the AI know how to do its own goddamn combos? Stupid. Very, very stupid. Now what do we got in here? Cotton and a very angry fucking music track for literally no reason. Everyone's dead, you know that, right? You got nothing to worry about. Please, calm down, drummer boy. There we go. Oh, I left, uh, I left endless loot up here too. Alright, what we got? By endless, I mean one sack, but still, it's something. A whole one velveteen. Aren't we a lucky boy? Is there any kind of way up there at all? Also, is this place as small as it seems? No! No, oh my god, this place is massive! And none of them know where I am just yet, but we're about to change that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, big fist! <laughs> oh, wow, okay. They got up real quick, but it don't matter when we got black wall. Hell yeah! We are way too overpowered here when that shit works out. All right, um, I'm gonna build an ice wall here. No one is allowed to come down, and we will deal with everyone one by one. Enjoy, assholes. Oh god, I broke it myself. I did not mean to break it myself. Is there any way I can make Ice Wall way more fucking powerful? Does it seem to get destroyed by, like, one little attack? The hell is that about? Whatever, blizzard them, and then we will absolutely shatter them with yet more ice. If only I had some mana. Come on, there we go. <laughs> we put him to sleep while he gets set on fire. Don't know how any of that makes sense, but I'm also glad it makes sense. Come on, come on, we need another wall. Oh, it knows what it's supposed to do. It knows how wide it's supposed to be and everything. All right, awesome. It probably works. I guess it's mostly to do with like closing off choke points and shit in larger scale battles. So uh, once I actually need to do that, that's gonna be fucking glorious. Oh, they've got a proper assassin. Oh man, these bandits are well trained. What the hell is going on? Nothing the black wall can't absolutely decimate, but still fucking well trained. Boom! Oh, the assassin actually survived one of those fucking ice splits. Not nearly enough, but still. Looks like we're actually taking on half decent enemies again. I don't know why I say again, we just fought that fucking dragon and it ripped us to so many shreds. Too many shreds, some would say. Some would say just enough, but who knows? Only you can decide. But it was too many. Say it was too many. What do we got over here? Assassin weapon and a silk brooch. Oh, meaning we have dealt with assassins before, because I remember picking up assassin weapons. Interesting. I wonder if I can actually use that to my advantage, or if we're just going to be more damaging against assassins now. I'd love to be able to actually use it to craft assassin weapons for myself, and, well, Cole as well, but mostly myself, because I... You know, I need to be slightly more badass than Cole. Can't bring Cole literally everywhere. Have to bring me literally everywhere on account of, well, you know, being me. Anyone else left to slaughter? Really? That tiny gang of bandits were able to dominate all of Crestwood and all its surrounding area? I don't know, the music doesn't sound like it's done. Music sounds like it's just getting started. Please just be getting started. I don't see anyone else... What am I supposed to do to you there? You got one range, dude. And he's not smart unless I'm inside of his brain. I guess we can go around that way. But there's so much I want to see. In fact, it seems like all I can do is go around that way. Can I open up this? I can. It's such a massive fortress. I can't believe it's just out here in the open to explore. It's like the size of Skyhold. It's probably a massive overestimation, but it big is what I'm getting at. Right, everyone needs a drink. As we get all the fucking potions we could ever want. Glorious. Okay. <laughs> it's so awkward just having this music in the background all the fucking time. As if something badass is supposed to be permanently happening. But no, even I can't deliver that. I'm the biggest badass this world has ever known, other than Furion and Hawk, and Alistair, and Zevron, 
and pretty much all the companions from Dragon Age 1 and Anders and all the characters from Awakening. Except that one elf girl who was sort of the worst elf we've ever seen in the entire series. Still kind of badass, but just really, really hard to like in any kind of way. No, no you fucking don't. I can't control myself at all. Oh my god. I'm so used to just walking around talking to people at the moment that I've completely forgot how to even remotely do the combat. I get the feeling that I may have been able. I keep pressing all the wrong fucking keys, that's the issue. I'm trying to do my whirlwind and then I'm trying and it's accidentally making me hit the um What's it called? Eye of the Void? Mark of the Rift or whatever. Eye of the Void sounds a hell of a lot scarier. There we go. Now I keep trying to activate that. I don't know if I've actually succeeded in activating it before. Because it seems like we very rarely actually have focus. Oh god, what the hell? You brought Avar into this? Or just a dude in Avar armor? You look like the size of an Avar, and I don't understand how the hell you got here. But maybe, maybe we don't want to understand. Just make them as cold as possible, and move on as quickly as we can. Oh right, fuck it, the Avar guy needs to die last, clearly. Ah, it makes me go through multiple if, it, if I can? That's badass. No, 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 no. Okay, I need a wall quite badly. We gotta protect our mage boy, and just do as much damage as we can from behind the wall. There we go. Oh, can I go through? Can't quite go through, that's annoying. No, do your thing, do your thing. Why can't you do your thing? I guess because part of the wall was in the way, which he can apparently decimate in like two hits, that's good. He's immune to cold. I think you might actually like cold. Makes sense, have our own mountain boys, right? Darwin survived in cold and, huh, I'm vaguely proud of you, buddy. 212, it's doing damage. It's not as much as I would have hoped. Let's try and get you on yet another ice mine. He's frozen. Boom! No, no, he's definitely not uh, resistant to ice. That was still a massive goddamn chunk. And we need yet another blizzard. Why can't they last forever? Wow, you recharge that quickly? <laughs> we can do so much with that. That was one of the first ice-related abilities. Quite literally the best in the game. I don't understand. Oh, it's literally just you and Blackwall. Two dudes who basically despise each other. That's a little frustrating. Oh god, I set him on fire. Kind of the opposite effect I want. I need you to be cold, sir. No, I need you to be even colder. How cold can I possibly make you? Because I need you to be that cold. He's immune. Immune to what? Yeah, that did nothing. Blackwall is still going at it, huh? He doesn't seem to ever have guard, but somehow he still takes very, very little to no damage. You're a wonderful boy. He's chilled. He's chilled. Break him! Wow, that's all that did. That tiny chunk was 1,400 damage. Through the Inquisition's banner over the battlements, the villagers may not even object. That's Dorian suggesting that, which makes me worry that they very much will object. Is it a choice whether or not I do it? Or is it just gonna happen? Does that mean I'm down for it? I'm sure these villagers won't mind serving us. But the Grey Wardens might take a little bit, uh, take it a little to heart. The villagers are no longer supporting them, despite probably defending the villagers a little bit more than we did, a little bit longer. But they didn't clear out the giant fucking bandit camp, did they? Oh wait, I'm actually- I have to do this? Alright, fine. It's my fault. Is this gonna be a common thing now? I would quite like this to be a common thing. Just going in, clearing out other arsehole factions, taking this as my own. I hope the Inquisition moves in. That'd be badass. Oh yeah, endless loading times. I tried to take that time to stretch and do nothing else, and the awkward silence filled the air. There we go. What was that cutscene? What what was the point in that? He just looked round confused. They won't hurt the villagers. Like anymore. he had the most sudden we dementia the ever. Lake. The mayor said the damn controls were through the fort. Well who do we have living here now? Are these Inquisition dudes? These are definitely Inquisition dudes. We have a Charter over here and we got a lot of Welcome fucking power from that. My name is Charter. Oh, it's actually a name, huh? I'll have some information for you once my man Butcher finds us. He's running late. Okay, well, you mentioned a spy. Can I go get him? What's this spy named Butcher supposed to arrive? It doesn't really sound like a spy name, does it? I hope he's only delayed. Kind of the opposite. He sounds like a large boy. This could be good. What's useful about this area? Sister Nightingale tell you why she wanted agents here? We lie on the main road between Denerim and Balroyo. Couriers stop here all the time. For what they're paid, 
God, she's quiet. Anything to report? Shut up. Too many undead keep rising from the lake. Well, we can fix that. Farewell. Farewell. Man, this is a really cool way to uh, to advance our influence on the map, though. I did not expect to be able to just take over fortresses like this. This is one of the coolest things in the game. <laughs> Genuinely. Okay, I imagine it will probably get old if we have to do it in literally every place, but so far it hasn't really seemed like that. Sort of only at special occasions where it makes sense to do it for the advancement of the Inquisition or the story or to save some fucking peasants. And I like it. I like it a lot. What is that? Let's have a look at the legend. Operation. Okay. You know, what the fuck? Oh, down here. Are you guys actually doing something useful? I can talk to you. Nearly got caught in Val Shavan. No. She fooled them into thinking she's from the court in Val Rio. They'll treat her well. For a while. It's awful for sending her out without a partner. An agent was captured. You say one of our spies is compromised. Yes, Inquisitor. Miller was captured in Val Shavan. But only called operations if they're... On the ward Perhaps table? Arrangements could be made to bring her back. Rescue the spy operation available. Oh, okay, so I can't do it myself, despite the fact that it's almost definitely in this area. Well, I'm just too busy for these guys, but I'm not too busy to fucking bring a dude's cow home. Then why have I done this? What? And a grand cleric is coming here. It's fucking Crestwood. Now is not the time. Whoever the hell you are, this is a horrible idea. Whatever, whatever. Let's keep exploring because I know I have a landmark to... Well, mark on the land. And also, that thing I need to go find. Wherever the hell you may be. Oh, I'm just back up here. Also, not what I wanted. I need to figure out a way to get f higher up or lower down or something. Mosaic piece. Yes, yes, yes. Get out of my fucking way, Blackwall. Thank you. Freed our slaves. Ow. Whoa! Hi! Not expect all this! No, seriously, what the hell is all this? At least I didn't take damage from that tiny little drop. Huh. Anything I can actually so many find legs. out here? Any reason to exist? It's just a fucking spider. That's it. You've never seen a spider before, Cole? Oh, you're so cute! I mean, I'm sure you've seen far worse than the Fade, but still. Snowball. Oh, that's the name of the spider? Meaning it probably really likes ice. That was, uh, that was poor timing. Whatever. No, no, why did- I didn't tell you to switch! Is it because I clicked on him? Is that a thing? That is definitely not a thing. I don't know why that happened, but whatever. Can't wait till you level up and I can actually give you necromancy. Oh, poison spider unlocks. And it was a special one as well. I guess that counted as a boss. Even though it was one of the most pathetic things we've ever fought. Hello? Healing Miss Grenade recipe, and some Amber. I believe that Amber is just probably one of the valuable things, like that's not actually going to be particularly useful. Uh, wow, that is strangely really, really pretty. This game does light really, really well. Or lighting, not just light in general. It's just, it can be so fucking beautiful. Oh, damn. This has to be... I just love how it has motifs from Dragon Age. It never doesn't feel like Dragon Age unless it does some big old mistakes where it fucks the lore. But other than that, it's it, it feels really, really Dragon Age with a completely new coat of paint, with a really modernization. And you would genuinely be forgiven for thinking that this game came out in 2017, 2018 era, where like the PS4 and the Xbox One X, sorry, PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X came out and games were really starting to look fucking stunning on those systems, you'd genuinely be forgiven for thinking that that is when this game came out. It's just too damn good looking for a game that also came out on the 360 and PS3. I don't understand how they've done this. Whatever, okay, well that just leads down to here. Don't really need to be out here, but at least the door is now accessible, I guess. Um, what now? I'm gonna go ahead and find that little exclamation mark, and I'm also gonna find that landmark, but I don't really know how to get there. Fuck it, I'll see you guys soon. Man, there is so much to explore up here. 
How did I never come this way when I was slaughtering everybody? I guess maybe we just couldn't? There were a few locked doors after all. Look at this! Surprised this doesn't count as a landmark. Man, so much effort put into just the design and the architecture of a place we're really not come to we're not gonna come to all that much, as far as I can tell. Like it's genuinely amazing. Uh, what you got for me, Inquisition? Last of Christmas time, women. Who has time? Are still around? about it's out. More travelers. More travelers. More news for the nightingale. Good point, but I've got a code to unscramble if you want to know who killed Comfy last week. You say, who has time? And you immediately think of the fucking Inquisitor. The Herald of Antraste, supposedly. Instead of any other one of Leliana's grunts. I mean, sure, I'll do it. It just seems very strange oh, that that is your reason for using me. You think, yes, I've got all this time on my hands. Now that their fort is gone, the bandits are ambushing the travelers. Presswood won't stop them either. The town's still reeling from the undead. Sure is. Oh, I just need to kill eight bandits? Is it even specific bandits, or what? Maybe they're all in one place. Who knows? I definitely don't. Fuck it, let's keep going? It seems very strange. Oh well. Uh, there was yet more stairs, I believe, over here. Yeah, there we go. And I believe the higher up we go, the more likely it is that we're going to find that landmark, right? Breaking into my own fucking fortress. How do I not have the key? We own this place now. Take your money, you ass. Hell's going on over here? You guys just having fun? Why do I need to break in for this? Carving knife, life ward. So what have we got here? We got the Antiban Bleeder. And the Bleeder of Souls. Or oh, and even Chopper, I should say, then. Uh, which means, Cole, you can have this relatively decent dagger I found. Apparently a carving knife is better than this red legendary fucking snake blade. That makes sense. Goodbye, Oblique Cutter. How's it look on you? Stupid. It, it, anything on you right now looks really dumb because of your armor. It's made you extra tall and you just don't look cold. But I mean, we need you to be survivable, and that's the best rogue armor we have, other than what I have, so hopefully we'll find something decent pretty soon. Care Bronach. King Brandel erected Care Bronach in 826 Blessed, intending the fort as a stopover garrison for Ferelden soldiers fighting all these invaders. The village of Crestwood takes its name from the fort's first captain, Savina Crestwood. Uh, who held Kerr Bronach longer than anyone thought possible against an army of Orlesian... Uh, what? Against a vanguard of the Orlesian army. When the fort's defeat seemed inevitable, Sir Crestwood, Sir Crestwood opened the gates, holding a flag of truce, and challenged every chevalier, chevalier in the Imperial army to a duel. Amused, one Orlesian officer accepted the offer. Sir Crestwood swiftly cut him down. Eight more followed. Honor and the watching soldiers forced... What? Honor and the watching soldiers forcing them to fight to Crestwood one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Th does that make any sense? Probably. Maybe it's just my stupid brain, but what the fuck? The tenth challenger finally managed a fatal blow. Only because Sir Crestwood had slowed due to blood loss from previous injuries. Impressed by Sir Crestwood's tenacity and endurance, the remaining officers left the small village around the fort untouched as the Orlesians made for the capital. Sparing hundreds of innocent lives. From notable fortresses, castles, towers, and other edifices of interest in Ferelden by Henry Lannan. Dude sounds like a fucking badass. I guess he was the inspiration for basically how they were able to survive the blight. He's in their blood. You make of that? Awesome. A Magister's needs. Dearest sister, it's been a, it's been an age since I've written, but I simply had to thank you. Your advice was perfect. Just a few gossips bought with gold and everyone in Minrath who was thought Curnius, Corinus, or whatever the fuck, and I were the most dreadful rivals. It let us indulge our little love affair without his wretched family interfering, if only for a little while. Corinus un himself un sadly turned out to be less ideal. I caught him carrying on behind my back with a soporati of all things. Can you imagine? There was nothing for it. During the quarrel, I threw boiling water in his face. Let his soporati kiss the scars better. He's cowering in his mansion now, pretending he was hurt in a duel. Uh, d no doubt he'll want revenge. Don't worry, dear sister. I took precautions. Don't tell anyone, but my master taught me a few secrets that should keep me safe. The ritual cost me the mansion's kitchen's slave. What the? 
Okay, sure. That's a weird thing to bet, my friend. Oh no, as in you sacrificed her. Of, of course. Sorry, my mind isn't really paying attention to the fact that this is a magister. Okay. Um, Lena, I think she was called? But I have enough power now to keep Karinas from trying anything foolish. Kitchen slaves can be bought by the dozen at the market, so there's no harm in it. I feel wonderful, dear sister. Won't you come for Windsend this year? I'll have my new slave trained to make your perfect, your favorite lemon cakes by then. It'll be perfect. Letter from Magister Delphine. I guess that's a woman then. I assume that would be like Magisteress or something like that, but I guess it's the same title. Or Delphine's just a guy. To her sister, Aulia. 865, bless it. You're a scoundrel and a liar, Reeve, and probably a f Inquisitor. That's me. Ah, oh, piss. I don't yeah, mind. Uh, just catching up with each other after an assignment. Clearly. Just don't lock the door. That's fine. Just don't lock me out of my own keep. No, Inquisitor. It won't happen again. I swear it. Oh. brown, Reeve. Quiet, you. <laughs> yes, please, uh... Please remove your nose from said rectum, and I shall be on my way. Yeah, and that was cute, though. <laughs> it's kind of cool being sort of the god of all these people. We've never had anything like that, other than our, obviously, our own companions in other Dragon Age games. Well, I say that, everyone did really respect us as the champion of Kirkwall, but we've never been really the leader of anything. Except when I guess we were commander of the Grey and Awakening. But anyway, I think that is where I'm going to have to leave it for now, guys. Um, sorry if this one didn't seem to have as, as much going on as the last session, but the last session was full of endless badassery. I guess this one was just a little bit more of a uh, relaxing into our new home in Skyhold. And then being an absolute badass and claiming a fortress for ourselves. That also did happen. So, I guess it's not all like that, but there were like six hours of just talking to people, which I love, but I understand why some other people may... Why it may not be for everyone, I guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. I really, really do. If you did, please do like, subscribe, share, comment, all that amazing stuff. It really does help out both me and the channel. And I will see you in the next one. But for now, this is Strike signing off. Goodbye!